I'm here today with Coach Tom Hanna from the Akron Volleyball Team. Coach, how are you doing today? I'm all good. Thanks for having me over. Of course. So how many years have you been coaching here at Akron, and what has the support system of the University of Akron been like for you? This is my fifth season, and it's been great. It's the, really the reason why I, I ended up looking and considering the job many years ago was I felt like it was time to get to a place that had resources and support to compete at a higher level, and it was an opportunity that presented itself, and here I am. So your record on the year, where do you guys stand as of current? Yeah, uh, 12 and 5. I, I'll say with a question mark, 5 and 1 in MAC. That one we know, that one's the one that's more important. Um, so we're, we're sitting 5 and 1 in, in the MAC, leading the East, and second overall out of 12 teams. That's awesome. So obviously a lot of success this year, obviously more than maybe in the years past, especially in the recent past. So would you say this is the best team that you've ever had? It's funny because I don't couch it in those terms, but I would have to say at this point, yes. Um, you know, I, I look at kind of each group as a silo, and there's teams, you know, like you said, we've never won five MAC matches in the previous four years. Um, but I think there were times last year when this team, you know, last year's team was maybe as good as this year's team in some ways, but uh, in terms of finding a way to grab the wins, it's, it's certainly a, a no-brainer, I guess, at this point with five wins uh, in the MAC. So I guess what makes the difference this year versus past years? What makes this team click both on and off the court versus your past teams? We are finally an older team. Uh, we returned 13 players. That's not been the case in the past. We've always been younger to middle of the pack age-wise. But we also now have players, you know, especially in our junior class, who've been in the lineup since day one. Emily Wigan is one of the best, if not the best, setter in the conference. Taylor Sharitz is one of the best liberos in the conference. And that comes from, hey, they've been on the job for two years already. Um, Taylor Karusevich is, you know, in a serving specialist role for us right now. She's one of the top, you know, ace producers in the conference. She's one of, the, I think she's in the top 100 in the country. Um, and again, just settling into that role does some other things. They're also, again, third year on the job and understand it, get it. They've been through, you know, some battles last year. That was a group that went three and 11 in sets, in conference sets decided by two, three or four points. Right now, we've actually already played 16 of those in way less time, but we're eight and eight. Um, and some of those losses, I think, last year, we've learned some lessons and we've been able to be more productive in, in those tighter sets. I mean, part of it is Ashley Richardson is a senior, Ilya Karstner is a senior. They're really hit the level we need them to be at. Um, you know, E's been hurt pretty much off and on the last two years, so she hasn't been fully healthy. So I think she, you know, she's put in a lot of time to get to the point where she's at right now. Um, you know, both of them are do the right thing kids. They're, they're always doing the right thing academically, athletically, socially. They're putting work in off the court. So I'd probably say those two. But again, Emily's made a really big jump, um, you know, in terms of her ability to see the whole game, isolate our hitters as a junior. Um, you know, again, how much of that is video work she's doing on her own. She's doing that, I, I don't know, you know, how many hours, but um, those are three people that probably have put a lot of work in to get to where the productive level they're at today. So, Coach, you said you were 12-5 and five on the year, right in the middle of conference play. Does it help playing these MAC teams, knowing that you have some people returning and you know the coaching styles a little bit, or does it change a little bit every year? It changes a little bit every year, but again, I think in terms of confidence that, again, last year we were this close X number of times. We lost three matches, 15-12 in the fifth last year, and won 15-11. Um, a lot of people have similar systems, you know, it's not exactly plug and play, hey, recruit that kid, plug her into that spot, but there's some similarities and we have a comfort level with what they're going to do and what they may or may not do and limit some of their options in terms of when are, we're prepping our scout, like, hey, they're not going to probably do this, so we know it limits some options and, and we can base some block and defense on that. So the longer you're around and, and the more consistency there is in the conference, it certainly doesn't hurt. And again, for our kids who've again, got some miles on the tires, it's a little more comfortable knowing who they are and what they do. And Coach, last question for you. End of the month, you guys will go to Bowling Green for the MAC tournament. Where do you see this team finishing in that? And do you think that this team has the potential to take it all the way and hoist the title? Uh, we haven't punched a ticket quite yet, so I won't, I won't book the ticket to Bowling Green yet. Do we have the potential? Sure, but there's probably four or five teams that have the potential. There's still, I mean, we're at six MAC matches. There's still 10 more regular season matches. There's a lot more to play before we'd have a better handle on 
the potential. I mean, based on our current body of work, sure. Um, but there's a lot more that has to be done to get to the point where we're talking about hoisting a, a trophy. All right, Coach, thank you very much. And make sure to cheer on your Zips this Friday as they take on Northern Illinois and hope to continue their success this season. With ZTV Sports, I'm John Alfieri.